Hey what's up guys so in this video I want to talk about the notification controls on your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic. So I've got my Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here and I'm going to explain how to set up your notifications on this watch and some privacy settings as well. So right away let's get to it and talk about notifications. So if I go in settings and the second option is notifications so if you go in here now the first thing that you see here is show phone notifications on watch so basically it addresses how you want to get the notifications on your watch so if i tap on it it will give us two options show alerts when phone is not in use and second one is show alerts even when phone is in use so the first one here is for when you're not using the phone when the phone is locked and the screen is turned off and it's just sitting in your pocket or somewhere else and you're wearing the watch in that case if you select this option you will receive the notifications and the second one is show alerts even when phone is in use so even if you are actively using the phone you're browsing or you know just using your phone for anything you will still get notifications on your watch now for me i have selected show alerts when phone not in use simply because when i'm using the phone i don't need to get extra notifications on my watch and you know make it vibrate and turn on the screen because that's just a hassle for me if i'm using the phone i can see and address the notifications right there i don't need to get the same notifications on my watch as well so this is for that but in your use case scenario you might want to get or receive notifications on your watch as well even when you're using the phone so you can turn this option on here now if you scroll down it tells you here that your watch won't receive notifications from your phone while you are not wearing it so if you're not wearing your watch your watch will not receive any notifications but if you have alarms or reminders set up on your watch the watch will always alert you even if you are not wearing it or if you're wearing it alarms and reminders will always go off on your watch so just be aware of that next up we have mute notifications on phone so this is the option if you just want to completely mute notifications on the phone and just receive them on your watch now i haven't turned this on because you know i want to receive notifications on my phone and if i'm actively using the phone i can address them right there i don't want to leave it to my watch because I might miss on some notifications if there are some connection problems or if I'm out of range. So I want to always receive notifications on my phone. But your use case once again can be different so you can turn this feature on. Next up is do not disturb and I will actually explain this later when I will go in the settings uh, section on the phone in the Galaxy Wear app because it's explained there much better. Anyways moving on we have advanced settings. So this is where the details of um, the settings are, where you can control the nitty gritty of the settings, set up privacy options as well. So the first one is notification indicator and it's that orange um, indicator that shows up on the left edge of the display and it tells you that you have received notification and you can see that I have turned it on because I want to always know if I have any notifications on my watch. So you can turn this off if you want. Next up we have read notifications allowed and it only works when you have headphones connected to your watch. Not otherwise if you have headphones connected to your phone this feature won't work. So you can turn this on if you have headphones connected to your watch and if you receive a message it will read that message aloud in your headphones so there are no privacy concerns here. Next we have show with details so here if you turn this feature on and let's say you receive a message from your friend then that message will show with full details on the display by default and you know that might be a privacy concern for some people because you know they don't want to show what they, what message they're getting on display if there are people around you so you can turn this feature off and in that case you will only be alerted that you have received a message from a specific contact and that's about it the details will not be shown and then next you can also turn off turn on screen so if you turn this feature on every time you receive a notification the screen will turn on on your watch but if you turn it off the screen will not turn on but you will still get the vibration and you will know that you have received a message but if you raise your wrist to look at the watch then the screen will definitely turn on and you can read and see what notification you have received so you can use both of them to address any privacy concerns and privacy issues next up we have a toggle for turn on new apps so this is for if you download new apps on your phone their notifications will be turned on by default and you will start to get their notifications on the watch but now i want to look at these settings on the phone which will open up in the galaxy wear app and show you some additional stuff here so here you can see that we have 
separate apps that you can go through and turn their notifications on and off. So here you can see that I have some apps that I have turned the notifications off. But there are some specific apps that provide you with some additional features and additional controls. So for WhatsApp, if I go in here, you can see that I can turn on the notifications for the WhatsApp and then the dual messenger WhatsApp as well. If you have that turned on on your phone, which I have here, so you can turn on the notifications or off for both of them. Then you can set up custom watch notification style. And if you turn on this feature, you will get alert and silent options. So whether you want to receive notifications silently or you want to be alerted. And then you can set up notification sound and notification vibration. So you can select a specific pattern for vibration. So whenever you will receive a WhatsApp message, you will be uh, notified with that different vibration and you will know without looking at the watch that you have received a WhatsApp notification. So that's very cool. And this only works in specific apps, not everything. So it will work for WhatsApp, it will work for messages, same thing here. And then Google Play Store, you can set up secure folder Google Play Store or the simple one. And then if I scroll down, I told you that I will talk about Do Not Disturb later on the phone. So here you can set up Sync Do Not Disturb with phone. So if I turn this on, whenever I will turn on Do Not Disturb on my watch, the Do Not Disturb on my phone will also be activated because I will have synced the two devices by turning this feature on. But I keep it turned off and the reason is that at night I usually turn on bedtime mode on my watch and what that does is that it also activates the Do Not Disturb mode and then my phone also goes into Do Not Disturb mode at night if this feature is turned on. And I don't want that. I want my phone to be active and receive calls and messages. So that's about it from this video, guys. That was everything that you need to know about the notifications on your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. I hope this helps to address your notification questions and how you can control any privacy settings on the watch when it comes to notifications. And if this video has helped you, let me know in the comments. If you want to know something else, also you can ask me in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.